Police say 28-year-old Melissa Huckabee, a Sunday school teacher, is also a killer. They arrested her last night for kidnapping 8-year-old Sandra Cantu, killing her and dumping her body in an irrigation pond. We're like shell shock here. Who can you trust at this point? Who do you know? Huckabee taught at the Clover Road Baptist Church, where her grandfather is the pastor. She lived in the same mobile home park as the Cantu family. Huckabee's own five-year-old daughter was close friends with Sandra. Sandra was like a daughter to me. Um, I can't imagine a mother doing this to a child. Sandra was last seen on this surveillance tape before she went missing on March 27th. Her picture was posted all over town. This past Monday, the little girl's body was found stuffed in a suitcase, dumped in a nearby farm pond. Police zeroed in on Huckabee after she told varying stories of what happened the day Sandra disappeared, including this phone call to the local media. That was my suitcase. It was stolen out from in front of my house. Yesterday, Huckabee drove herself to the police station. She was arrested during questioning. Finding out, one, that it's a, a woman uh, that was responsible for Sandra's kidnapping and murder, and then finding out that it's a member of the community is another blow. While investigators aren't saying how Sandra was killed, they do say they believe she was murdered even before she was reported missing. Mason, come to order. Department 35 now session. The Honorable Richard Blavianos presiding. Melissa Huckabee, felony arraignment, no holds. Miss Huckabee is present. Do you want Miss Huckabee down the seat? Um, I think she's fine where she okay. is, Your Honor. All right, Miss Huckabee, there's been a complaint filed in case number SF 111539A that alleges in count one of murder, and that on, on or about March 27th of 2009, the crime of murder in violation of section 187 of the Penal Code of Felony was committed by Melissa Huckabee, who at the time and place last aforesaid did willfully and unlawfully and intentionally, with malice of forethought, murder Sandra Cantu, a human being. There are three special circumstances alleged. In the first special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by defendant Melissa Huckabee while the said defendant was engaged in the commission of the crime of kidnapping in violation of Penal Code Sections 207 and 209. In the second alleged special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by Melissa Huckabee while the said defendant was engaged in the commission, attempted commission, or immediate flight after the commission or attempted commission of the crime of performance of lewd and lascivious acts upon the person of a child under the age of 14 in violation of Penal Code Section 288, within the meaning of Penal Code Section 190.2, parentheses A, parentheses 17, parentheses E. In the third special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by Melissa Huckabee, while said defendant was engaged in the commission, attempted commission, or immediate flight after the commission, or attempted commission, of the crime of rape by instrument in violation of Penal Code Section 289, within the meaning of Penal Code Section 190.2, a-17-K. It also put on notice that the evidence presented at the preliminary hearing will also be used for any violation of probation and a request for discovery. Ms. Huckabee, um, Public Defender's Office, Ms. Schwarzenberg represents you on, on another case in front of the court. Did you want that office to represent you on this case as well? Right, then I'll go ahead and point the Public Defender's Office on this case as well. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Hortford, did you have a moment to talk to her? Did you need a moment to talk to her? I did speak with her very briefly, Your Honor. And um, with regard to the complaint that's before the court, we are not at this time entering a plea. And we are requesting that the matter be continued to the 24th of April for further arraignment in connection with this matter. Okay. I understand that she's had a medication evaluation. I would ask that further medication evaluation be commenced. I'll order for the medication evaluation. And you want the, the case to come back on the 24th? I do, Your Honor. Um, also, in light of the publicity that this matter has garnered, I am requesting that uh, the court at this time make an order prohibiting both sides from discussing the case with the media. Um, Mr. Testa, did you have any comments on that at this point? I'll submit it, Your Honor. Um, prior to doing that, the case um, obviously involving the special circumstance allegation is going to be assigned for all purposes. So 
I'm going to assign the case for all purposes to Judge Van Oss. Um, Judge Van Oss is next on the list. Um, we could have it in Department 24. Um, that would be um, right now, is it the date of the April 24th, I'm sorry, in Department 25. Um, we'll say that for now. I'm not sure if that's going to wind up in the courtroom, but we'll use that courtroom for now um, at one third. Right. And then, at least at this point, Judge, Judge Van Oss's request was to talk to the attorneys prior to issuing any orders. So I will leave the issue of the again uh, gag orders to Judge Van Oss on the 24th. You can bring that up with Judge Van Oss. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Honor. The DA says after Sandra Cantu's body was found in a suitcase in the pond, the pathologist examined her body and found she died of asphyxiation. Dr. Omalu found, and it's in the photographs, a cloth entangled in Sandra Cantu's hair. And he referred to it as a noose, and he believed it was used to asphyxiate her, to smother her. He found evidence of that. The lower lip exhibits a certain type of injury when someone is smothered, and he found that very type of injury in her lower lip. And he believes perhaps that cloth was saturated with isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Prosecutors say Sandra had a powerful drug called aprazolam in her system. That's the generic form of Xanax, a medicine generally prescribed for anxiety. Prosecutors also say they found more evidence inside the Clover Road Baptist Church. A cord from the blinds was used to tie the suitcase shut. Also, a bloodstained rolling pin was found inside the church. Prosecutors say injuries to Sandra Cantu were consistent with a sexual assault from the rolling pin. We're also now learning a witness placed Huckabee at the scene of the crime. Prosecutors say a retired U.S. Marine and his wife saw Huckabee at the pond that day. She told them she had just stopped to urinate. Sandra Cantu's father and, frankly, all the family members in the courtroom, not just the Cantus, but the Huckabees, were in tears for much of that hearing this morning. So we know some of the what, but the prosecutors say they still don't know why. What would compel her to attack this young girl, to take her life? They say that what they do know is that she had a history of drugging people. She drugged another little girl in the same mobile home park, as well as an ex-boyfriend. But Juliet, they don't know why she would have drugged Sandra Cantu and taken it to the level of murder. The testimony is heartbreaking. All right, Joe Vasquez. Joe, thank you. Juliet, prosecutors have begun to tell the public the gory details. They say Melissa Huckabee drugged eight-year-old Sandra Cantu, sexually assaulted her, and then murdered her by smothering her face with a cloth. Now, Melissa Huckabee spoke in court today. It was a surprise to the people gathered in the courtroom. She apologized to Sandra Cantu's family. It is not enough that I say I'm sorry, but that is all I can do. From the day Sandra has died, I've had to live with the consequences of what I've done. For the rest of my life, I'm going to have to live with this. With the responsibility for her death, not a day, not an hour. It's by so they can think of the harm that I caused. I loved Sandra a great deal. She was sweet and as a little girl who did not deserve to have such a short life. I am not responsible for Sandra's death. I would like to apologize directly to you, Maria, for all the pain that I have caused. I should not have taken Sandra from you. And I want you to know that she did not suffer and I did not sexually molest her daughter. I would also like to apologize to Sandra's extended family. I know that I have caused you a great deal of grief, but I am truly sorry. I would also like to apologize to my own family for what I have put them through. I'm grateful. They have continued to stand by me, and I thank you for your unconditional love and support. I know how hard this has been for you as well, but you continue to stand by me, and I can't tell you how much that means to me. I'd also like to apologize to my own daughter, whom I lost. 
I hope that someday you will forgive me. I love you a great deal, and I hope to see you again someday soon. I owe an apology to the people of Tracy, to these officers who spent so much time looking for Sandra. I know that this has touched each of you personally, and for that I'm truly sorry. I know in my heart that God has forgiven me. And I know my family has forgiven me. And I'm asking you, Maria, for your forgiveness. I can't imagine forgiving somebody who would harm my own daughter. But I hope that someday you can forgive me. Maria, I wish I could give you an explanation for what happened. I owe you an explanation. I still cannot understand why I did what I did. Every day I try to discover my motivation, but I still do not have an answer. This is a question I will struggle with for the rest of my life. I wish that I could do more to help you. I wish I could bring Sandra back, but I can't. I wish I could trick places with her, but I can't do that either. I know that Sandra's death will continue to cause you pain. And I hope that this apology will help you in some way by accepting responsibility for what I have done. I hope that I can give you some peace. Thank you. At this time, uh, Ms. Huckabee is statutorily ineligible for probation pursuant to section 190.2a. There can be no other commitment other than state prison, so probation is denied as a matter of law. For a violation of Penal Code Section 187, murder in the first degree of Sandra Cantu, as Ms. Huckabee pled guilty to count one of the indictment, you are hereby sentenced to imprisonment in the state prison for a term of 25 years to life. You have admitted the special circumstance that the murder was committed during the course of a kidnapping pursuant to section 190A17B of the penal code. Therefore, this converts the 25 to life sentence to one of imprisonment in state prison for life without the possibility of parole. That is the